Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas being joined here with Richard Schaefer, the head of Ringstar Sports. And Richard, I want to get your thoughts on, on a few trending boxing topics, sure, but sure, sure. first off, we're going to talk about the fight that you're promoting, Mikey Garcia, Sergey Lipinets, 140-pound title on the line for Mikey, could be his fourth uh, title that he wins in a fourth separate weight division. What do you make of the fight? Because it seems a lot of fans feel that Mikey is the big favorite in this fight and, and that he should potentially be highlighted in this fight with a knockout win. Well, you know, uh, it's not easy to make history, and I think that's the reason why so far there have only been two fighters, Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao, who were successful in moving up from the 126-pound weight class and win four, four world titles in consecutive uh, weight divisions. So this is a challenge. This is not a walk in the park. Uh, you have two undefeated fighters, f uh, 50 fights between them, 50 wins, 40 wins by knockout. Uh, these are both big punchers. Both are excellent boxers. Uh, both only know one thing, which is to win. And uh, both like a big challenge because um, it's, it's probably the biggest challenge uh, Mikey Garcia had in his career. Uh, Dejan was a big challenge, was a big puncher. A lot of the media guys and fans thought that uh, that might be a bit too much for Mikey to chew on, but um, he obviously pulled it off. He knocked out Dejan. Now with uh, with with Sergey, you have a fighter who can not only punch, but is really very, 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 very good boxer as well, and knows how to adjust and adapt. Uh, he is young. He is bigger. Uh, he's going to be just as hungry as uh, Mikey Garcia is. And I think that is exactly the ingredients which makes this uh, must-see TV. I like Sergey. He's a good action, he's a good TV fighter. He, he gets in there and he throws hands and it, he makes it exciting. A name that's been hovering Mikey is Vasily Lomachenko. What'd you make first off of the fight that happened between him and Rigondeaux as we're going to segue into a potential fight with him and Mikey? Well, you know, uh, Wisdom, boxing wisdom has it that uh, a great uh, big man always beats a great little man. And that's what we saw. We saw two great fighters, two uh, two time Olympic gold medalists. So the both are very, very good fighters. And, you know, boxing wisdom was right again. The, the, the great big man beat the great little man. Um, and that's exactly what it was. And I sort of like alluded a bit today at the press conference. What we see here is not like a great little man fighting a great big man. These are guys in the same weight class. Both are undefeated. Both are world champions. And both are in their prime. That is what makes this fight so exciting. And, uh, you know, it's not a fight like, unfortunately, over the last 18 months or so, two years, we've seen a few of those where you have a smaller guy moving up several weight classes to challenge somebody um, because of the money. And it basically becomes like more of like a money grab. Uh, and I don't like those fights. This here is not a money grab. This one here is a real world championship fight where two guys dare to be great. Lomachenko Garcia, do you think that it happens? There's a potential to happen and are you willing on behalf of Mikey to make that fight happen if he wants to happen? Because it seems that he does, would like to fight to happen. Yes, um, well Mikey and I, we spoke about that and I have no problem. I've, I, Bob and me uh, worked on many big fights, uh, put together many big promotions and I have no problem. To, uh, when the time is right to sit down and see if that can be done. The fact is, um, you know, I, you know, I, I agree with Bob. Uh, uh, sometimes you've got to wait a little bit. I'm not, I'm not one to marinate. I, I'm first and foremost a fight fan. I like to see the big fights today and not tomorrow. Uh, but in this particular case, I really believe that by Lomachenko and Mikey going their separate ways for maybe, I don't know, 12 months or something like that. Uh, that will make that fight that much bigger and that much more exciting. I think this will be a fight, uh, this will be the fight. Fight fans and the general public, sports people, going to want to see. Uh, I think this is going to be, this can be the signature event and this can be one of those fights everybody is going to want to see. Just like everybody wanted to see Mayweather and Pacquiao. That's the kind of level I think this fight can become. It's a lot of 
want for that fight from the fight fans because of what happened in the Rigondeaux fight. We felt it would be competitive. It, it wasn't, and people are like, okay, we think Mikey would be more than competitive with someone like Lomachenko. Now, speaking of uh, boxing as a whole, new promoter in town now, Dana White. What'd you make of uh, Dana announcing that he's coming into boxing? And uh, what do you think the landscape or, or how he will be received in boxing? Well, I think uh, Dana's record speaks for itself. Uh, I think he's very charismatic, he's a terrific guy, he's a smart guy. Uh, I always uh, respected Dana, um, so I wish him and uh, his, his group the best of luck. Would you want to work with him? Are you willing to work with him? Do you think it's a positive that he's coming into the sport? Oh, I think it's a tremendous positive, you know, to have somebody like Dana to come into the sport. Uh, Dana is, uh, you know, is, is a fantastic promoter. Uh, and uh, I think for him to get into boxing is, is, is great news, great news for the sport. He's mentioned he's been reaching out to promoters. And I'm just kind of curious, has he reached out to you yet? No, he has not. not yet. Okay. Maybe you might get a phone call. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> you know, last time I spoke... We actually know each other quite well, and we always respected each other. But, you know, I mean, I think right now they're sort of like, if you listen to what he says, uh, they're sort of like exploring in what way, shape, or form they want to get involved. So it's not like uh, you mentioned a new promoter in town. They haven't really... They have officially announced their intentions, but they haven't really decided yet in what form or shape or in what way they want to they want to go about it uh, so you know they i'm sure they're going to carefully evaluate how they want to get into boxing if they really want to get into boxing because you know it looks easy but it's it's not that easy it's a very competitive market um, the tv situation in the united states is still a bit unsettled um, and so uh, you know we'll see uh, once Dana properly evaluates uh, the space, meaning boxing, uh, if and in what form he's going to enter it. Last time I spoke to you, you said that you were going to sign a big name in the next coming months. It being Christmas, I was hoping you'd give me a Christmas gift. Give me a Christmas gift exclusive and let me know who's the, who's the big name. No, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of fighters who are who have reached out to me since I formed uh, Ringstar and uh, you know with some fighters we just work on a sort of like fight by fight basis as you know you know that I don't necessarily believe that a fighter really needs to sign a promotional agreement because sometimes um, a handshake and mutual respect is worth more than the paper uh, a contract is written on and I think you've seen that with Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Floyd never had, I never had a promotional agreement with Floyd, but yet uh, Floyd turned out to be the most loyal of fighters I have ever worked with. And uh, because we, we worked well together and it was a successful relationship for both of us. And I think that's the way, that's the way you work. And that's the way I work here with Mikey as well. So you gave me a sock of coal. I've been a bad kid, Richard. <laughs> hey, Richard, thank you, man. But you have it's a good nice to see you. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> you know, I gotta, I gotta floss a little. It's the last event of the year. I figured, Merry, hey, why Merry not? Christmas. You know, Merry Christmas, Richard. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank, thank you so you much, Richard Schaefer, right here in Los Angeles. Mikey Garcia taking on Sergey Lipinets coming up in the new year in the Alamodome.